So, there we go. And the beastie is in. That's it. So, obviously, the motor is suspended now. Uh, let's see which best angle. There you go. So, you can see it's suspended, but those plates are going to take its weight easy. The biggest problem is the bolts that are holding it because they're not really intended to suspend the motor. But I think it'd be very hard pressed for it to fall off it. <laughs> the problem is, of course, is when the motor is actually running because uh, I don't want torque shearing bolts. I think we'd be okay. I don't know. Anyway, but you know, hey, I need to centralise it because it's currently it's roughly central to the vehicle, but the prop shaft is at an angle. You see, so if I actually move it across so that the prop shaft's lined up, then I can, um, I don't know, fasten it down. <coughs> Perhaps a couple of U-bolts across there, something like that, you know what I mean? Should do the job. And uh, you can see that, that it's at an angle now, I think. Anyway, <coughs> so if I straighten it up, and then uh, I've got to finish the welding, I put a couple of, I put lines across the top, but I really should put lines across the bottom or else it'll try and twist the box. It's already twisting it slightly with the weight. So um, if I raise the motor up and then put a seam along the bottom and perhaps the sides, just to make sure. It's not going to fall off, it's just twisting the box, that's all. Because that motor is a pretty considerable weight. Even lifting it from here, it's... Ooh, I can only just manage to lift it. So that's got to be at least 200 kilos. Um, but you know, those welds are good and they'll hold. I'm pretty sure the welder's working again anyway. Yeah, and uh, can't resist it, but there you go, see? <laughs> yeah. That king weld there, that's, I, you know, I'm impressed actually, because that was the first time I fired the weld up since uh, about a year ago, and I managed to seam that up nicely. I might knuckle it out a bit further actually, just to get a bit more substance on that shaft, because <laughs> there's quite a bit of stress on that weld. I don't know. Anyway, who cares? Okay, that's it. As you can see, it's in. All I need to do is finish it off now, do the electrics, and we've got an electric vehicle.